Here I am on the par 5 third tier El Valle. What a phenomenal setting to come and play golf. However, even when players board the tee on a magnificent hole like this, their brain still wants to be negative. I see so many players turn to look down the fairway and all they can see is the patch of grass, high grasses in front of us with about a 100 yard carry to go over. They might spot the bunker on the right hand side or the trio of bunkers up on the left hand side. Looking at the wind direction, we can feel the wind coming slightly off the right hand side. They might start to worry about hooking the ball on the wind. Basically, they're looking at as many negative options as possible. Stop doing that, that really is hurting your game. What I want you to do is come onto the tee and look down the fairway and pick out three things that you really like about the hole. Now I really like the right to left wind, so that's going to be my first thing. I'm going to be able to shape that ball with about five yards of right to left draw on, so that's going to really benefit me. The next thing is, there's a massive fairway out there, there's 50 yards of fairway to aim for on the left hand side. I'm going to make that a real positive. I'm going to really believe that I can drive the ball into that part of the fairway. The next thing I'm going to look at is that the hole slopes slightly left to right, so that's going to hold my draw. So these are really good positive images that I'm putting into my thought process before I go ahead and hit the shot. Who would you put your money on? The player that walks onto the tee that can pick out three or four things that they really like about the hole or the guy that's going to tell you about the 10 things he doesn't like. So listen, pick those good things out. So then I'm going to go behind my shot. I'm going to make a rehearsal of the shot I want to hit. Visualize that shot flying right down into my area. Then go ahead and hit this shot exactly as I've just seen in my head. Watch how still I stay over the golf ball. Because I've got my setup position there. Nice and still, just turn the upper half of the body. Perfect position. Down into the fairway. That's going to leave me a chance to get there in two. Now we've got down to our ball in the fairway. We can see what's in front of us. We can see the bunkers over on the right hand side. We can see the bunkers on the left hand side. I've looked at my yardage. I've got 182 meters to the front of the green. That means I've got 200 yards. The pin looks as if it's 20 to 25 yards on. So I've got 225 yards to the back of the green. I'm going to pick out some things that I like. Again, the wind's coming off the right hand side. So that's going to allow me to flight the ball into that back left, left flag. So not only is the wind an advantage, but the flag position being back left, that's going to help me. So there's a couple of good things that I really like. It's quite a long green here. The only trouble is at the front of the green. So I want to get the ball to the back of the green. So I'm picking things that are really in my favor for the shot. So I'm pumped up about the shot. I can go ahead now and really start to think about executing my shot. See that ball flying onto the right side of the green and just releasing down to the flag. Let's hit the shot. pitch right on line to the flag. Believe me, that's going to give me an eagle chance. So we've hit that second shot into the par five. It's really important though to continue to keep thinking really confidently. Look at the different hazards that are in front of you and don't be put off by the difficult ones. Really concentrate on the hazards that really are going to help you. Focus on the good stuff on the golf hole, not all the bad things. You can see as we drive down here, there's plenty of good things to look at. We can use different slopes to help us get the ball close to the hole. If you can visualize these shots, believe me, you're going to have a chance like that to go and make an eagle putt. Golf's really about making sure that you visualize in the right way. You can see here, this looks very much like my pitch mark where the ball's come in and then it's going to have fed down to the hole. So I've really planned that shot really well. Yes, I've executed it that time. Just because I've planned it right, it doesn't mean I'm going to execute all the time. So we'll walk down and try and knock in this eagle putt. Watch how I go through my routine. I want you to learn from the things that I do. Now, by no means am I saying everything I do is perfect, but if you can look at some of the good things that I do, and even make some comments about some of the bad, and I'll try and get better myself. So I'll mark that. I've already repaired my pitch mark. So I'd come behind the putt now. 
Now I tend to read the putt pretty much only from behind unless there looks some real major breaks in there. So I look at this putt and it's just inside the right edge. So I've really got no problem to go ahead and knock this in. Again, I'm looking at positive things for why I can make this putt, not looking at negative things. Confirm the read again, just inside the right. Take a couple of practice strokes here. Visualizing that putt going into the hole. Come in, line my putter up really well. If I get my line and my putter correct there, I've taken care of probably 50% of the putt. Once that's lined up, go. Simple eagle there. Only because I've thought right, I've done the right things and I've executed. Go ahead, really work hard on executing your shots and believe me, you might make some eagles yourself.